Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. I am JB, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving off a little quick tutorial on how to um, edit the arenas in 2K. Um, now, there are plenty of other ways to do it, uh, but this is just my way of doing it, so I'm going to be showing you how I do it and everything like that. Um, yeah, so like pretty much all I'm going to be doing is just showing exactly the, the steps that I do and i will also have some like some things linked uh down below just like to make it easier for y'all and everything like that um but yeah before we get into it there's a few things that you you definitely gonna need to uh you know to be able to edit the uh arenas uh one thing is um like either photoshop or paint.net i use photoshop just because i feel like photoshop is just i don't know to me it's simpler than uh paint.net uh but you can use either or um but for both things you will be uh, you will have to use a plugin just for you to use the certain like files in the 7-zip files that you like if you're doing it on my like on pc you should already have 7-zip downloaded just because you like you know that's what you need uh to play the mods and, and stuff like that also uh if you don't already uh go you got to download uh the 2k hook uh, that is very helpful and it'll help you, you know, be able to find like uh, what arena you want to do And you can go in there, you know, change the name of the team and everything like that um, But yeah, so I use Photoshop and this is one of the things that you will need to use um, To be able to, uh, you know, change the color and change like the logo designs and stuff like that of the arenas uh, Because like you like for the background like the back wall that has the logo on it You will have to use this because you need an alpha layer Um Rob, he like he he's explaining he explains it well. Uh, I can't explain it like him just because like Rob has been doing this for a while. I you know I'm a beginner to it, um, but yeah, you, you'll definitely need this. So I will have this link down. You can you know click on that link, download the plugin, and then you can uh, watch a video on how to add the plugin onto your Photoshop. Um, but yeah, and then also with these this I will have this link down below as well. You know because like so you don't have to go into the uh, Seven Zip and then find all of this stuff because but this is pretty much everything that you will need you know to change the way the look of like to change the look of the gym um so we're gonna get in we're gonna edit it edit, uh, edit arena and i'm gonna just take y'all step by step of how i do it so yeah let's get into it all right so first what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pull up the uh, 2k tools and i'm gonna go to the arena that i want to edit and right now i'm gonna be editing uh this fictional team that i am creating uh morehead indians now I'm gonna go back over here to 2k and see what the court is looking like right now see what the arena is looking like load up okay so right now it's looking like this it is the one that i showed you guys the file that i showed you this is the uh this is the this is what that arena looks like with all those images and stuff like that in the uh in the file uh so what i'm gonna do you know i'm just gonna change it to you know more of the the color theme that i want more head indians to look like uh so yeah over here you check well what i do is i check and i see the you know you know the uh unique id which is 001 and that is the uh dot iff file uh let's go ahead and pull that up real quick so what we're gonna do you know go to the uh the mods folder uh, i have mine labeled differently yours probably not gonna look like mine but yours you know just if you have it correctly then you'll be straight uh but i'm going over to my uh mods file damn if i can go down to the let's see all right so you find it you find the iff file you click on it open it up in seven zip and it's gonna you know pop up looking like this so i'm gonna go back to the file that already has all the uh stuff in it right here and you know you just you start off whatever one you want to start with so I'm gonna start off with this. This is pretty much the um, this is the orange part is pretty much the let's go. It is this right here. That's the orange part, and we're gonna just edit that. Go back over here. You know, it's gonna open up in Photoshop. Press OK, and then you know, just you can make whatever design you want. Uh, it's not gonna look like 
you know how actual high school arenas look like obviously but you know you can just still do it to your liking and give it like a different environment and everything like that so i'm just gonna edit this and then we're gonna I'm gonna plug it into the game, show y'all, show y'all how to put in the file, and then you know go to the game and show you the difference or whatever. So this is the uh, look that I came up with. This is what I'm gonna put into the game. Uh, so what you do when you save it, you go on save as, and you save it wherever you want to save it. I usually just save it on desktop because you know it's easy to access. And what you will do is you will change it. And if you have the plugin, you put the plugin correctly, it should pop up and show you that it, the Intel texture works. You will click that and it will save as a DDS file. And that's the file, you know, that you will just need so that you can show up in the game. If it doesn't say DDS at the end of the uh, file or end of the, the text or whatever, then you did it wrong. So just make sure that this, it says DDS at the end and that it is, um, you know, the Intel, you know, texture work. And then when you save it, it's gonna show you, you can either these two, you got the color and then you got color alpha. And since this is a back wall, you want to save it as color alpha because, you know, you just need alpha layer to for it to show up. And now that it's saved, we'll go over here to our desktop. Let's pull this up as well. All right. Now you find it on wherever you saved it at. It's right here. You're going to drag it over, move it into here. It's gonna do its thing. And then when you come back over to the 2K, the uh, background should change. So that's what, you know, that's what we got. And then you pretty much just do that with everything. Um, so I'm almost actually tell you like which ones that you will actually need to do it with. So go back over to the files. So color alpha, you'll be doing it with the bleachers these uh right here the uh you know the, the cm smooth cmu smooth 16 for you gonna you gonna keep that color alpha the concrete color alpha generic metal co uh, color alpha leather cushion color alpha or no leather cushion is color and backboard is color uh so actually let's just do that real quick to show y'all okay open it up in here we're gonna change that to maroon save and then you know the you know dds file save it make it color and you pull it up pull it back up go to wherever you saved it at move it over and now we go back over here to 2k look inside and now yeah the uh you see the the chairs the word which the players will sit on are now maroon instead of orange and then also for a to change the logo on the back of the chairs which is going to be the stanchion uh nba logo you open that up and then you just put whatever you know whatever your logo is on there uh, i'm just gonna like remove it save as or wait instead of doing that because it's still gonna pop up uh let's just erase this Alright, and then save as desktop, save, yes, and you're going to save this as color alpha, and I'll pull everything back up, all the files and stuff, go back to where you saved it at, move it over, now we go back over to 2K, and then boom, it should be, you know, that's how it should look when you add your logo on there you save it as color alpha and it's going to pop up on that um but yeah i hope this tutorial was you know helpful uh if i need anything like if you guys want me to do do it slower or anything like that just comment that down below and i can you know do it i'm not really too good at it like explaining things but so i hope that you know by you know my movements and everything like that and like just me you know going from you know from program to program or whatever that you uh, you seen what i was doing and everything uh, but yeah if y'all like the video leave a like subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications whatever and yeah i'll catch you on the next video